it's generally not a good idea to keep weasels as pets. Weasels are wild animals that are not well suited for life in captivity. They require a lot of space to roam and play, and they have specialized dietary and environmental needs that can be difficult to provide in a home setting. Furthermore, many weasel species are also known for their aggressive and territorial behavior. They are not generally known for being cuddly or affectionate pets and can be difficult to handle and train. However, if you are doing a research for a special pet that extremely rare, you can continue watching this video. If you are still here, hello and welcome to today's video about the different types of weasels. Weasels are small, carnivorous mammals that belong to the Mustelidae family. In this video, we will explore the different types of weasels, their appearances, colors, sizes, costs, and which one is best suited for a small house. Least weasel, the smallest member of the weasel family. The least weasel measures only four to five inches in length and weighs around one to two ounces. They have brown fur on their back and white fur on their belly, and their tails are tipped in black. Least weasels are not recommended as pets, as they are wild animals and have specialized needs. The long-tailed weasel is larger than the least weasel, measuring around 12 to 16 inches in length and weighing around 5 to 9 ounces. They have brown fur on their back and white fur on their belly, and their tails are longer than their bodies. Long-tailed weasels are also not recommended as pets. The short-tailed weasel, also known as the ermine, is similar in appearance to the long tailed weasel but is smaller measuring around 7 to 13 inches in length and weighing around 2 to 5 ounces. They have brown fur on their back and white fur on their belly, and their tails are shorter than their bodies. Short-tailed weasels are not recommended as pets. The stoat is similar in appearance to the short tailed weasel but is larger measuring around 11 to 17 inches in length and weighing around 7 to 12 ounces. They have brown fur on their back and white fur on their belly, and their tails are longer than their bodies. Stoats are not recommended as pets. Just a quick heads up that due to time constraints, we're only going to be highlighting 12 types of weasels in this video. So, if your favorite type of weasel didn't make the cut, don't worry, we still love them all. Let's dive into the amazing world of weasels. The American mink is larger than the stoat, measuring around 18 to 28 inches in length and weighing around 1 to 3 pounds. They have dark brown fur with a white patch on their chin. The European mink is smaller than the American mink, measuring around 12 to 20 inches in length and weighing around 1 to 2 pounds. They have dark brown fur with a white patch on their chin. The black-footed ferret is larger than the long-tailed weasel, measuring around 18 to 24 inches in length and weighing around 1 to 2 pounds. They have a tan body with black feet and legs. The Siberian weasel is similar in appearance to the long-tailed weasel, but is larger measuring around 13 to 20 to inches in length and weighing around 1 to 2 pounds. They have a dark brown back and a white belly. The mountain weasel is smaller than the Siberian weasel, measuring around 8 to 12 inches in length and weighing around 3 to 7 ounces. They have a brown back and a white belly. The Japanese weasel is similar in appearance to the mountain weasel, but is larger measuring around 10 to 14 inches in length and weighing around 3 to 8 ounces. They have a brown back and a white belly. The yellow-bellied weasel is similar in appearance to the short tail weasel but is larger measuring around 10 to 14 inches in length and weighing around 2 to 6 ounces. They have a brown back and a yellow belly. The Indonesian mountain weasel is similar in appearance to the mountain weasel. While all of the weasel species mentioned above are fascinating animals, none of them are suitable for a small house. Weasels are wild animals that require large enclosures and specialized diets, and they are not well suited for life in a home setting. In conclusion, while weasels are intriguing animals with unique appearances and behaviors, they are not recommended as pets. It's important to remember that wild animals should be left in their natural habitats whenever possible. 
If you are interested in owning a pet, there are many other domesticated animals that can be wonderful companions and are better suited to living in a home environment. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it informative.